dear FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday after coronavirus, Monday, 24 Feb. A lot to talk about. Obviously, yesterday stocks got smashed. Uh, 130 handles uh, closed at 140. On 140 on Friday, closed at, uh, I'm sorry, closed at 3340 on Friday, closed at 3220 on um, Monday. Three and change percent. Bonds also through the roof. Didn't quite get the um, exact double bottom we're looking for. If you look at the yield here, US 10. Why? You'll see that we did trade 132 and a half, 132.6. No, I'm sorry. 132.1 is the all time low in um, the 10 year. That was 2016 low. Yesterday we got down to 136 and a half. What does that mean for price? That means at 33, 133.05.10 will be the double bottom and yield. Uh, we would argue that this is a fade the first time. Now, yesterday, it looks like it may have... Well, it doesn't say it look. It, I take that back. It doesn't look like it has turned, but we're having a little bit of a red morning here. Um, big, big day, gap, boom, bang, higher. Now we're just inside yesterday's bar. Uh, consider fading this at uh, when the yield hits 130. Uh, real tight discipline trade is just a technical trade um, but it's we're getting into the silly season with bonds and I do have this sneaking suspicion that when this whole house of cards comes down there'll be sellers of both bonds and stocks uh, any of you risk parity people out there listening yes I'm talking about you Dollar yen is annoying the living Christ out of me. Uh, we talked a lot yesterday internally about 130 holding. I mean, sorry, 110.30 holding. 110.33 was the low. Somehow I didn't make money off of that. Um, Jeeps. Jeez Louise. Uh, I don't know. I guess there was a lot going on yesterday. And, and short stocks. And and short risk and short crude and and but when gold turned uh, I should have been more vigilant on this anyway be that as it may bearish day now 11030 is a pivot but it looks like a trap break so some break traders will trade through 30 but it looks like a trap break into 15 where there's also very very strong support point is here is careful here in dollar yen we do think um, whether stocks go up or down dollar yen is going to go up so uh, that's our opinion here we will see yesterday it didn't turn out that way yesterday it was just stocks down dollar yen down old school uh, but we're very wary of this old school correlation things are changing in the world right now and especially things are changing in Japan the story in Japan has always been bad with some silver linings, um, you know, obviously car manufacturing and some of the electronics is amazing in Japan and the work ethic's great and, and uh, Tokyo is amazing and, and the country itself is amazing, but it's getting too old um, and has too much debt. So eventually this is going to come home to roost. And we have a feeling during this next crisis season, and this is where we are, we're in the crisis season, um, Japan's going to get smoked. Anyway, we'll have to see. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward on, you know, price. In, or, in, in order to win in this business, price has to follow story. So there's your story. Let's see if price follows it. 110. Uh, 110.00 should not trade. If it does, we move on. Uh, what else are we looking at that's of interest? Our old friend that we've been talking about, Kiwi Yen, is really kind of trading on the other side of that coin, 70, uh, 70 double zero, just from a purely technical perspective. It's just outstanding uh, as a chart point. Um, 
if coronavirus goes ballistic, if New Zealand gets a couple of cases, Australia gets some cases, and there's cases on cases, and there's fear, and China is more, you know, paralyzed, handicapped by this, uh, by this unique flu. This could lead to the next leg down in Kiwi Yen. And of course, just from a technical perspective, 70 double zero, nice round number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lows in the region. Consolidation above it. Um, it's an interesting level. Let's just let's just leave it at that. Gold got hammered. I uh, was not on this. Pretty extended up there at um, 1691. An Irish colleague of mine last week told me to sell gold at 1680 86. Um, as per usual, he's he's usually pretty good. He's um, He's quite excellent uh, in this business. Here we are, 1650. I don't know much about the the gold market, but I do know everyone's long. So be careful of this. Uh, obviously, support is around 1615. So there's plenty of room for funny business here. Back down. There was talk overnight that they found a vaccine. God knows uh, how this is going to play out, but if we go back risk on gold is going to gold is going to tumble very fast. Um, although I'm not expecting us to go back fully risk on, so just be careful in gold. That was a pretty um, surprising move from basically 78 down to 60. Uh, now we're another percent and half lower from 78 down at 50. Let's see. Be careful with gold. Dollar CAD, we talked about being long yesterday. Uh, we were long. We did get stopped at the lows, which was annoying. Um, we stopped out down through 55. You see this idiotic bar here, traded down to 52. Uh, Dollar CAD looks, looks set for higher. We're really just pre-trading for the inevitable break of this um, 133.30 and then 133.50 area. What are the lines that are going to be drawn here by um, by these miracle technicians? This will be one line drawn. This will be another line drawn. Some of the longer term geniuses. No. Let's see. Maybe this one's really your your your. This will be the line people are looking at. Some people will say this, will say that, and then there's of course the horizontal that goes with it at uh, 28. This comes in at 33, 28. So let's call 30 the bingo number in CAD. Uh, this is likely to happen. Crude is completely in massive trouble. Um, global demand over the coming quarters is going to be um, crappy. Schools are closed in all kinds of countries. People are told to not get in their cars, not to leave their villages. Uh, this is probably going to get a little bit worse before it gets better. And so you're going to be missing like four or five quarters, four or five months of, of oil demand that needs to be priced into all of this. So we do think oil is going to trade down to 49.55. And even though the correlation isn't what it used to be, uh, CAD will suffer on that. So we do like dollar CAD higher. Bitcoin, not doing too much. Uh, we're buyers on dips, you know, just stick a bit in, uh, maybe down by 90, 9,300. Again, we're trading the March contract, which is, which is trading around 9,700. Um, just try and buy low ones in Bitcoin. Um, 
this is our risk off proxy it's in consolidation mode at the moment dollar china is not collaborating it really struggled up there at 705 there were so many reasons this should have shot higher to 710 but it didn't felt somewhat like there was some intervention perhaps I'm not as familiar with what goes on in dollar CNH but um, this has turned so this says things are getting better um, as does the stock market let's pull that up finally seem to be babbling away today already at the 10 minute mark uh, so what do we have? Big three-day down, the biggest three-day uh, down move since 1970, if you are a number file or whatnot. But most importantly, we had this 32.10 uh, hold up, right? So this is 32.12.75. This is 32.13.75. Uh, Again, last night down to 14 and a quarter. Uh, this is now becoming incredibly important. Will we make another shoulder here? Yeah, probably will, just to fuck with people. Um, but whether we do or we don't, this is now an interesting sort of line in the sand, 3210. Put it down in your trading diary. Um, battle stations uh, when we see 3210. Quickly, cable. Uh, there's some talk that uh, a month end there will be cable buying. I don't follow that super closely, so keep an eye on that. And then finally, Dollar Rand couldn't quite get through that 19 area. Triple top now. The budget's tomorrow. Uh, we all know the budget's going to suck. We all know uh, South Africa is screwed. The question now has become, is the market so incredibly prepared for this disastrous budget that uh, it'll be by the rumor, sell the fact? That is the big question lingering on the table. And I don't have the answer to it right now, but I'll be searching around today and getting ready for the budget tomorrow. 1519 is important. All right, I've said enough. Bye, 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 bye. Have a good trading day. Bye.